was the Geneva Conference and how did it impact the fate of Vietnam? The Geneva Conference main agenda was to bring about a ceasefire and settle the issues resulting from Korean War and the first Indochina War between the French and the Vietnamese nationalists. In Geneva, Switzerland, in 1954, France began to negotiate a settlement to discuss the general situation in the Far East. There was a continuous battle between the Vietnamese national forces under the rule of communist Ho Chi Minh and the French, who were determined to continue colonial control over Vietnam. The USSR added Indochina to the agenda to which both Britain and France supported in an effort to bring about a truce between the regions. Consequently, during the discussions of the war between France and Vietnam, the Viet Minh gained a victory at Dien Bien Phu base, one of France's worst military defeats. We wanted to maintain U.S. interest for France and hope for a military solution. However, the Viet Minh's victory at Dien Bien Phu um, occurred just as Geneva delegates were preparing to meet. That erased all our hopes for a military solution. Their victory triggered a domino effect. We discussed giving um, U.S. air support to France, and we also discussed sending American troops in. What did the Geneva Conference of 1954 accomplish? On July 21st, 1954, the Geneva Accords resulted in Indochina being divided into its constitute parts, Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. Vietnam was divided into two along the 17th parallel. The Viet Minh would hold North Vietnam and withdraw from the South, as well as from Laos and Cambodia. Meanwhile, French troops would withdraw to the South. Demilitarized zone, also known as DMZ, would be created to produce conditions for a ceasefire and as part of the agreement Vietnam would be temporarily separated, pending elections within the next two years to choose a president that could reunite the country and change the course of Vietnam. This was very significant as it was the first step towards reuniting the country once again. The Geneva Accords were accepted by both the Viet Minh and U.S. However, the conditions under which the Viet Minh accepted the Geneva Accords foreshadows great conflict. We controlled nearly 75% of Vietnam. However, we came under pressure from, from Soviet and Chinese backers to make peace. Both the Soviet and the Chinese feared U.S. intervention. China in particular? felt vulnerable to U.S. development, and we also needed time to reconstruct our army and economy. This forced ceasefire came with great benefits for our leader, Puff, who believed that he could win the elections as his sense of nationalism grew stronger in the country. However, instead of promised elections, Vietnam was permanently separated and this separation was formalized when the U.S. gave support. In recognition of Nhu Dien Diem as a leader of the new republic of the South Vietnam. This cause and cause and effect scenario is what prompted further conflicts in the region. North Vietnamese attempted once more hmm, to unite the country by force which led to the Second Indochina War, where the U.S. played a key but costly role. The U.S. gave us military, political, and financial support, while also setting up a pro-Western region in South Vietnam. This bound the U.S. to us as they were drawn deeper and deeper into the politics of the region. So much so, that by the 1960s, the U.S. was forced to send the ground forces to support our country. What was the impact of the Geneva Conference in North Vietnam? Okay. Well, 
the Democratic Republic of Vietnam faced considerable problems in the immediate post-Geneva period. The division of the country along the 17th parallel cut North Vietnam off from the main rice growing areas of the Mekong Delta. And the threat of famine increased. Much of the fighting um, in the recent war had taken place in the north, which means all the damage inflicted would have to be repaired before the country could even function like, properly. Our region was not seen as a priority, although we were backed by the USSR and the Communist China. And so it is. The Geneva Conference began as a conference among several nations that intended to settle issues resulting from the Korean War and First Indochina War. The Geneva Accords thus brought an end to the First Indochina War and marked the end of French influence in Southeast Asia. However, it laid the groundwork for the Vietnam War. Sound like you're saying action. No, 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 cut, cut. Mm. Mm. Is that it? Mm -hmm.